might want to work in retirement, but that might not always be possible. Joining me to discuss post-retirement employment is Anna Rappaport, a co-author of Managing Post-Retirement Risk, which was recently published by the Society of Actuaries. Anna, let's start with you giving us a brief description of this risk and then how to manage it. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Post-retirement employment is often not recognized as a part of retirement planning, but what it is, is the plan to, after you retire from that full-time job, work on a reduced basis, maybe part-time, maybe as a contractor, to probably earn some money and also to continue to stay engaged. It can be important both for the money and also the engagement and keeping you alive. Some people want to do this also because of benefits, and some people may work that reduced schedule before they fully retire or after retirement. So there are a lot of different options for how to do it. So what are some of the ways we can manage this? Uh, first of all, I would say that you need to, if you want to do it, you need to be careful to lay the groundwork. Society of Actuaries research shows that more people want to do this, say they want to do it before they retire than actually manage to do it. The choices include staying in your own field or looking for something new. It's important to be realistic. And with, regardless, you probably need some skills. And if you're staying in your own field, that means staying up to date, keeping up your continuing ed. You may need a certain amount of technology. Also, depending on what you're doing, your contacts may be important. So keeping your skills and contacts up to date, being realistic are three really important things. Also, you need to be flexible. You need to be realistic in recognizing that you can't earn probably on a daily or an hourly basis what you earned before. Uh, job availability can be a challenge. I'd say your first thing is to see, is there an option with my former employer? Don't forget that option might exist. It may, it may not. There are a few organizations that are specifically devoted to finding opportunities for people in a situation. For example, retirementjobs.com, mature caregivers, your encore, encore, those are just some of more. Self-employment is also an option, but don't spend the assets you need for retirement to set up a business. So be careful about that. There are many opportunities for gig employment though, and self-employment. So be flexible and realistic and you can make it work. Many companies may be reluctant to hire regular employees that are full-time and that they have a commitment to. And working with retirees, either as part-timers or contractors, gives them a way to get the work done where there's no commitment beyond the current project. Furthermore, beyond COVID-19, companies will have become more accustomed to the idea of people working from home and alternative work options. So there are some factors that point to it being a lot more difficult, but some that maybe it'll be easier. And remember, keep those skills up to date, keep your contacts, and be flexible. All right. Thanks, Anna, ever so much for describing this risk and how to manage it.